What is up guys, HBFC here and welcome back to Yakuza. So let's tell uh, Date we're ready so we can start chapter 12. Alright. And here's Reunion. It's quite a story heavy one this. Meet up with Fuma. Don't well, it's pretty easy because he's just on this boat. That man. I think that's the man who saved me at the batting cage. He talked to me about the pendant. Come on, Haruka. Okay. All right. Haruka out the way. Good evening, cousin Masan. I'm Terida, a lieutenant of the Omi family. What? Tell me. Why is the Omi family helping Fuma Oyabun? Just like you, Kazuma-san. I owe Fuma-san a lot. Fuma-san is waiting for you. Follow me. You made it. Kazuma Oyabun. I'm glad you're all right. I apologize for putting you through all this trouble. The man you just met, Terada, he used to be an assassin. Just like me. I see. I asked him to spy on the Tojo clan for me. Him being a lieutenant in the Omi family. Especially Nishiki. Cosma, listen. I'm going to tell you about everything that's been concealed for the past ten years, okay? Yes. This girl's mother, Mizuki, doesn't exist. What? Yumi. Yumi is Mizuki. The woman you've been looking for, Mizuki, is in fact Yumi. What are you saying? Yumi has been pretending to be Mizuki for the last five years. That means Haruka's mother is... Yumi. She is definitely Yumi's daughter, no doubt about it. So Yumi isn't my aunt. She's really my mother? Oyabun, who's Yumi's partner? I mean, Haruka's father. Kyohei Jingu. Jingu? You mean... From the MBI. This picture is from nine years ago. The baby Yumi is holding his Haruka. The man standing beside them is Jingu. You know that Yumi lost her memory due to shock caused by the shooting, don't you? Yes. After the shooting, Yumi was scared and confused. She just ran from the hospital. But she did remember one thing. She remembered where the Sunflower Orphanage was, where she was born and raised. Sunflower. After hearing the news, I rushed over there to get her. I tried to help her regain her memory. I showed her a bunch of pictures. What's wrong? Rain. Huh? Lightning. No! What is it? I don't know. I don't know, but... At that point, it hit me. 
I realized who really killed Dojima. And after that, I decided not to tell Nishiki about Yumi, and instead took her under my wing. But how did Yumi end up with Jingu? Jingu and Sera were pretty tight. Jingu used to do business with the Tojo clan. That's when Yumi and Jingu met. Jingu and the chairman? Jingu was trying to get involved in the political world. Sera was the man behind the scenes backing Jingu. Jingu met Yumi and fell for her. Since Yumi had no recollection of her past, it wasn't hard for Jingu to fill that spiritual void that she was feeling. I couldn't do anything about it. I thought that if she could live happily with Jingu, she could escape the world of organized crime. I thought maybe it was an opportunity to change her future. With that in mind, I felt that Yumi could be happy spending the rest of her life with Jingu. Then, Yumi and Jingu had a child, Haruka. One day, Jingu received a marriage proposal from the Prime Minister's daughter. That's when Yumi decided to leave him, since they weren't officially married. She did it for Jingu. But that decision started the House of Cards toppling. Jingu had acquired power through marriage and not of his own accord. So in order to maintain that status, he became ruthless all the while justifying it to himself. After their breakup, I was looking after Yumi and Haruka. Then one day, Sera received an urgent call from Jingu. Sera, you gotta help me out. I'm in deep shit. What's the problem? Just get over here. I'll send some men. Where are you? No, I need you to come alone. What the hell happened? There's a body that needs to be taken care of. Jingu insisted it was just an accident. The body was of a freelance reporter who was trying to blackmail Jingu. He was going to write a story exposing the truth about Yumi and Haruka. Sera gathered notes and pictures from the reporter's home and burned them. But for Jingu, it wasn't over yet. Now, is everything settled? Well, not exactly. There's one more thing that needs to be taken care of. What? To prevent this from happening again, there are two others that also need to be dealt with. What? You mean... Seta, this is to protect our future. We must... Jingu. What do you think you're doing? Chairman! Fumasan, I made a promise to Jingu. Is your word so important that you would kill a girl and her baby to keep it? Nothing can be that important. Lucky for Yumi, or maybe unlucky, she regained her memory at that very instant. Yumi and Haruka. Jingu. That heartless son of a bitch. I persuaded Sera to put Yumi and Haruka into hiding where Jingu would never find them. So that's how Mizuki and Ares came to be? Yes. Sera and I arranged to have Haruka live at Sunflower, and to change Yumi's name to Mizuki. 
We hired a counterfeiter to forge all the necessary documents. We also altered the way she looked, face, hair. But, Oyobun, why did Yumi steal ten billion from the Tojo clan? That wasn't the Tojo clan's money. It was Jingu's. Bumasan, the Shimano family is outside. It's not safe here. Damn Shimano! That crazy bastard! Damn, that was long. Alright. So what's going on? There he is, Kazuma! Alright, here we go. Quite a few of them. Quite a few big guys as well. It's not too bad. Show for the guys with the grenades, in fact, actually. Give me that grenade. I use it myself. Well, oh, and I got one guy. <laughs> I thought I'd missed completely. Yeah, that's right. Oh, he's got a grenade as well. Try and catch a bunch of them together. Ow. Oh, I threw a big guy. I got clobbered with a bat. Look at this guy over here, cowering. Don't want to get involved, does he? You can actually throw him over the ball as well. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, I'm drop kicking. There goes another guy. Ow! Here, grenade! Oh well, no, I missed my chance to get someone overboard, but oh well. Fight's over. Well, at least the first one is. Hey! Blow this ship to hell! Kazuma-san. Are you okay, Uncle Kazuma? Yeah. Well, I'm fine. Too close for comfort, though. <laughs> what fun! We meet again. Kazuma and Fuma. You sneaky fuckers. Shimano! Tirada, you pretended to betray Nishiki and take sides with me. But I saw right through your deception. I've been watching you the whole time. And? You and Nishiki. You left yourselves open. I'll take the girl, if it's all right with you. It's really a shame that you all have to die. Shimano! What? It's you that left yourself open. Fuck you! Hey! What's this shit? Oh, you again. 
It's almost Christmas. So we brought some presents. Kazuma, looks like you've been having one hell of a time. Yeah, so do you. Huh. Looks like the Fuma family grew a set of balls. All right then, let the massacre begin. Hell yeah. Right, first thing, yeah, grab a Shimano. He'll break it, but you'll drop his um, sword, so it'll be less of a threat. Now, even though we've got guys fighting on your side, they're pretty useless, so don't depend on them. Sort of watch out for Shimano with that clubbing thing he likes to do. There we go. Axe handle smash. Damn it! Like okay, he does that, you want to tap square so you don't get run over. There we go. Oof. I want to grab his sword. Come on. Right, it's going to disappear. Attacking my own men there. It can be tough to drop, can Chimino? It's good to stay on his feet. Uh oh. There we go. Guess the heat doesn't do too much damage to him, actually. Let's drop this big guy, there we go. Just shimming all left. These guys aren't really going to do anything. Down, Shimano. Cannot drop him. Well, he's nearly done. This last kick should finish him. Alright. It's pretty easy, that one, actually. You're through, Shimano. Uh. Fumasan. Kazuma. Oyabun. Haruka. She's safe. Uncle Fuma. Oyabun. About the ten billion. Listen. Tanada-san. Call an ambulance. Okay. Kazuma. It was Yumi. Sarah and I. Uh, we took the money. What? Jingu's ten billion. He was using the Tojo clan to launder dirty money. Money laundering. That's right. In order to bring him down, we needed the ten billion. And Yumi. She volunteered to help us out. Yumi did? Hurry up and get to Ares. Kazuma! Yumi is in danger. Ares? 
Yumi's at Aries? Yes. Also... Is that... This is... Sarah's will. It's all over. Yes. Thank you. Are you sure you're okay with this? To get rid of Jingu, we have to steal the 10 billion yen he stashed, then bring him down. That's true. Still, you're going to be in danger too. Why don't you go into hiding for a while? Hey. It's obvious that Shimano and Nishiki are going to try to take over the clan. But I am the third chairman of the Tojo clan. I'm not about to run and hide. Maza. Just in case something happens, I want you to keep this will for me. The future of the Tojo clan is in your hands. Yes, sir. Cosma, I have something I have to apologize to you for. Please forgive me, Cosma. I'm the one who killed your parents. It was me. The Sunflower Orphanage is a place where I send all the kids that I made into orphans. It doesn't matter. That's in the past. Oyabun, to me, you were my... You were... My real father! Alright, and that is the end of chapter 12, which leaves just one last chapter. Chapter 13, which I'll be starting next time. So as usual, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you then.